Damn, bro, this has 3.2 million views. Yo, and the state of play only has 1.2 million, bro. PlayStation fell off. Sony ponies in shambles. Nintendo stays winning. What a fucking surprise. All right, let's get it. Did they really have to make her with those proportions? I mean, like, god damn, man. Like, <laughs> Nintendo stays winning. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. That's cool. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a collection system. Oh, it's a roguelike. I see. Okay. Sure. I think Slay the Spire is kind of like this too, right? Not quite. That's just my understanding. I haven't played it. Or not Hello, Slay the Spire. Everyone. Sorry, Risk of Rain. I meant to say Risk of Rain. Your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Is, is, is Risk of Rain like that? You just saw yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't know how I got the two of them confused. Three expansion pass DLC, yeah. Side Order. This brand new story is set in the Spire. Because I was thinking, order, like, where you will I was like, this is a game that Soda Pop and played, but I'm like, wait a minute, no, it wasn't floor. that name. Yeah. You're developing this single player DLC so it You'll can play be too? I never have. I probably should. Again. It's planned to release in spring 2024, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's see our first batch. Do they still Nintendo snap Switch their fingers? Headlines. Yeah, they do. All right, let's go. The toys are back in town. Donkey What's Kong. What's this? Mario. Here we go. Okay. The rivalry that heated up on the game. Oh my god, bro. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of those phone games. Like, I see this and it's like the phone game where it's like there's like a lava here and the guy jumps on it and the lava comes down and it sets him on fire. Game Boy Advance system reignites on the Nintendo Switch system. With his eyes on the prize, Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. And Why would it's he up do to that? Mario to track him down. Why would he do that? In each stage, contraptions and other challenges await. Dude, I've always wanted to go back and actually go and play every Mario game that I've missed. Because the last Mario game that I played, really, was Super Mario Sunshine, and I didn't even finish that game. It's impossible? No, it's not. Mission and action are vital to your success. What do you guys think Mario was the, needs to reach the best key, Mario game ever? Quite cross the gap. For its time. Hmm. I feel like it's either Super that Mario 3 tail looks or Super Mario 64. Though, doesn't it? If Mario it's either 64 this, or 3. Now he can get across. Of course he can. And safely why, why does grab he the just key. jump on the guy? Oh, he can't. Oh, he can, but doesn't Platform matter. too high? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip. Like that. Okay. Observe and act to collect mini Marios, clear stages, and face Donkey Kong head on. 
In this <laughs> updated version of Fuck the game, em. you can play with a friend in local co-op. That's cool. However you choose to puzzle your way through, it's up to you to recover the toys. <laughs> Mario vs. Donkey Kong launches on Nintendo Switch February 16th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I'm going to be honest. I feel like that, that that's like a perfect game for a phone, man. Like, that's a such a perfect... Dude, I feel like I've seen... I've already seen this game like five times in like phone ads. Well, I mean, it makes sense, right? Because the Nintendo Switch is about as powerful as a phone. So, yeah, I guess I guess it kind of is. Save the prince and the Oh, world. yo, this shit looked crazy good. Guide Sargon yo, look at as this. he sets off to save the prince of Persia and restore the world's balance. Tapping into the roots of the Prince yeah, of Persia this. series, this, is so this fucking game badass. features 2D side-scrolling action adventure gameplay. Dash through breathtaking environments in a mythological Persian-inspired world, but don't linger too long if you hope to survive. So Harness sword and bow techniques, as well as time powers. If I play this game, I'm never going to use any of those. I'm just going to use the basic. As your attack. journey progresses, Sargon will grow stronger and learn new abilities that expand his arsenal. Equip amulets to further boost your abilities, among other perks. The number of amulets you can equip is limited, though, so choose wisely. <laughs> Use everything at your disposal to oh, navigate Chimera. this harsh world and defeat the mythical beasts that stand in your way. Yeah, this Get looks really cool. Save the prince and discover the mysteries of Mount Calf. Sargon when Prince Arts. of Persia, the Lost Crown, launches on the Nintendo Switch system January 18th. Yeah, I actually think that game looks really cool. Warrior Within outfit by I saw the, the, uh, the trailer of it last time. It was great. These games will help you chase your passions. What does that mean? Rev up for true arcade racing in Horizon Chase 2. Speed through stunning environments, okay. each with its own dynamic art style. While I remember I used to play uh, your games like this on the road. A lot. Play the main campaign to unlock vehicles, courses, and more. You can also upgrade your vehicle and style it to fit your high octane needs. Itching for more. You know, like uh, a bit of lore. You know, like that uh, yellow Lamborghini that I had that I would hit myself in the head with. I would go get it, but it's like I, I can't, I, I can't reach it. Um, the reason why I bought that was because we had a game. I forgot. I think it was called like Cruising World or something like that. And if you beat every stage with like some different variant, you would get that car. That's why I actually have that Lamborghini. Is because of that original, yeah, Cruising USA. Was it that one? Yeah, I don't remember. But it was one of them. And, like, that's actually why I got the Lamborghini. Was from that game. Racing action, it's like the butterfly up effect, to you know? Four speedsters can put the pedal to the metal in couch co-op or online. Go full throttle in Horizon Chase 2. Launching on Nintendo Switch. Yeah, this reminds me of, like, a Nintendo 64 today. game. It's kind of nostalgic. Warm up for musical mayhem What's in this, this? rhythm-based adventure. Time your button presses with the music to solve puzzles and battle bosses. Over 30 thrilling tracks await, including music from iconic Konami games. Up to four friends can battle it nope. out in versus modes or jam together in local this gonna be or a online note. play. This is Super gonna be a big note. Rhythm Castle launches on Nintendo uh -uh. Switch November 14th. Not about it. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Is this a Anya Forger spot, has a yeah, new assignment from school? Creating a photo diary. On weekdays, you'll head to class, then enjoy family time in the evenings. On days off, you can visit all sorts of exciting places, like the beach or an art museum in search of subjects to photograph. How will you spend your time with friends and family? And what kind of photo diary will you help Anya make? Spy Anya Operation Memories launches on Nintendo Switch next year. I have a feeling I'm probably not the target audience for that game. Mario's first RPG adventure oh, returns. Oh, yo. Yeah, they announced this last time. The Super Mario RPG There's game Gino. is back with updated graphics. Let's go over oh, some bro, new and returning so gameplay features. 
time your button presses with action yep. commands to increase damage dealt or decrease damage received. Bro, those spiders didn't fuck around. When you time your attacks perfectly, you can now damage all enemies at once. Oh, that's new. Yeah, I don't remember that happening at all. Every successful action Mallow. command will fill this gauge. When it's full, you can unleash- Wait, we have a limit break? No way, there's a- no way they brought the game back with a limit break. The three-character triple move. Oh, that was one of the bosses. Depending on your current party, the move will change. So experiment with oh different my combos. God. During your Bro, adventure- Bro, I love this guy. I don't know why, but I thought this guy was so cool. You'll encounter bosses with colorful personalities. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. Booster, yeah. But these powered up bosses aren't gonna be easy. Damn. Oh, they didn't even show the hardest spot. The original hardest boss was a QX, right? Smithy was hard too. I remember I had a fucking reality check whenever I went and I fought Smithy for the first time. That was a bad time for me. Uh -oh. Set off for adventure yep. with Mario and friends. That's the boss when too. Super Mario we RPG fight Gino. launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 17th. Pre-orders are available I am gonna play now this. on Nintendo eShop. Yeah, it's not even a question. Of course I'm going to play this. Hey. Uh, uh. Look alive. We're almost there. Who's this? <sighs> <gasps> the Nintendo DS game, Trace Memory, returns on the Nintendo Switch system as another code to memory. Never played this shit. One day, a young girl named Ashley receives a letter from the father she thought had passed away. Is that right? Seeking answers, she sets off for the solitary Blood Edward Island in search of him. Once there, Ashley encounters puzzles and obstacles that hinder her investigation. Also meets a mysterious boy. What truths await Ashley in this place? And no matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. Who are you? The sequel, Another Code R, Journey into Lost Memories, previously unreleased in North America, is also included. So this is like Juliet, huh? Play both games to experience the full so story. Like no combat. Unravel both adventures, fully enhanced for Nintendo Switch, when another code, Recollection, launches January 19th. Pre-orders begin no? today okay. on Nintendo eShop. Okay. Another Code Recollection yeah. includes two games, the Nintendo DS game Trace Memory and its Wii sequel, which was never released in North America. Both games yeah, are not, fully enhanced another, not on the Nintendo target audience Switch. Game. Please yeah. look forward to playing them early not next the year. Target audience. Next, please take a look at this. <laughs> Is this the Peach game? One day, a loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Wait, so are Theater. toads just simps? Princess Peach and some toads yeah. went to go see it, but then... Yeah, they're all just simps. The Wicked Grape and the Sour Bunch suddenly made their grand entrance and took center stage. Now, it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play and the day. This perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. Luckily, Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the Sour Bunch. Okay. Well, she has that, ab does she have that ability in the Smash Brothers? Always cut it, though. So let's do this. Whoa! Peach transformed into Sword Fighter Peach. Okay. By transforming, she can All use right. fantastic show-stopping abilities. Fend off the sour okay. with sensational sword play. This is... Oh. 
All right, all Can right. Can Peach save this performance and its performers? Is there, wait, is that a boss? Let's see a boss. There are more stolen shows to save. Oh, shit. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. Yeah, that actually Become looks kind of okay. Detective Peach. Investigate clues and wait, track down who done it. What the fuck? Let's get back to the combat. Desserts have been snatched from this sweets festival. Turn into patissier peach what? and save it from a sugar crash. The sour bunch got their hands on this martial arts school. Become kung fu peach and take it back from these foul fiends. <laughs> oh my god. Many other transformations are just behind the curtain. The are you stage kidding me? Is set. Our leading lady is ready for the spotlight. Jesus. Princess Peach, showtime. Makes its debut on Nintendo Switch March 22nd. I would not have expected that. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Oh boy. Peach well, turning the Kirby now? Yeah, I'm not Kirby Peach All Stars. Showtime. In Peach's latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there uh -huh. are more transformations beyond the ones we showed today, so please stay tuned. Let's continue with some more headlines. A new saga begins. Sega Genesis. A multi-layered RPG full of rich stories awaits in Saga Emerald Beyond. There are six heroes to choose from. A young man who fights with sentient puppets. Okay. A witch disguised as a schoolgirl to mask her identity. <laughs> a crime-fighting duo chasing down a mysterious organization. A songstress mech who lost her voice and body. Oh my god. And a king of darkness who was recently reawakened. Select a hero, then follow their journey through 17 interconnected worlds as they strive to achieve their goals. How the story unfolds is in your hands. The choices you make can unlock different paths more than ever before seen in the Saga franchise. Fight in timeline battles, turn-based combat in which turn order is crucial to victory. Use special techniques to control the order of actions or activate team combos to swing the tide of battle so is there in your auto favor. Saga Emerald Beyond. Yeah, I just want to know like, if, if, it, if, if I'm going to play this or not. Year. The Legendary Raider returns. Okay. The first three Tomb Raider games, all with upgraded visuals, are venturing onto Nintendo Switch in one daring collection. As the fearless archaeologist, Lara Croft, you'll travel the world and face nice. off against deadly foes and even deadlier legends. Climb, backflip, and swan dive through perilous quests spanning different countries and mythologies. Incredible. Along the way, you'll solve Amazing. puzzles to uncover treasures of the ancient world and unravel mysteries lost to the ravages of time. This faithfully remastered trilogy comes with all of the expansions and secret levels for each game. You can also toggle between the I original never played, polygon uh, look and the other. I never played Tomb Raider because... Uh, I didn't really want to play as a girl. I remember, like, it was a Tomb Raider game that came out for the uh, Xbox 360, and I played it a little bit, but I was like, nah, bro, like, I'm just going to play Halo. Great visuals at any time. Tomb Raider 1 through 3 remastered, I mean, starring Lara she didn't get nerfed, on the so I consider Switch this a W. Like, let's be honest, guys, especially in this day and age. Nintendo e -shop. Yeah, I think this is great. This detective's got a second bolt of brilliance. Is this Pokemon? Every great detective starts their day early. What? This is Rhyme City, a place where humans and Pokemon coexist. What? The detective duo of Pikachu and his partner Tim investigate various cases while searching for Harry, Tim's missing father. Tim interviews people. Pikachu interviews Pokemon, and they find the truth together. They'll also rely on other Pokemon to broaden the scope of their investigations. I thought Pokemon couldn't Follow talk. Sense with Growlithe. 
smash rocks with Darmanitan. And peer through walls with Luxray. Can Meowth? Tim and oh, Pikachu yeah. solve all the mysteries and find Harry? Find out when Detective Pikachu returns. Aww. Launches on Nintendo Switch October 6th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. This game's a real toot. Okay. Raise your brass for the quirky rhythm game, Trombone Champ. Play the notes in time with the music as best you can. But how you play that horn is up to you. You can use gyro controls to... I unironically think this would be a funny game to stream, but I couldn't imagine playing this on my own. Just the pitch up and down. Yeah, like I, I could see, yeah, I could see McConnell playing this. Absolutely. Or the IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con controller. The controls are pretty unique, and mastering every control scheme won't be a walk in the park. Honk your way through nearly 50 songs Jesus. spanning various genres, from classical to electronic. Wait, did that say nearly trap? Oh my god. 50 songs spanning various genres, from classical to electronica, oh and god. everything in between. Plus, up to four musicians can band together in local oh, multiplayer. Great. Trombone Champ slides onto Nintendo Switch later today. Wow, beautiful. Battle your way to victory in these Nintendo Switch games. Okay. Ten teams of three will duke it out for survival in this online Battle Royale brawler. Okay. Knock Battle your opponent's crush. health down to zero and deliver a finishing blow. Or shove them off the collapsing terrain to win. Choose from 15 heroes, each inspired by a different mythology. Work with your allies to be the last team standing. Battle Crush is free to play and launches first for consoles on Nintendo it's, Switch. It's made by NC Soft, so A it is free to play. Will be available this October. Lead your mercenaries What's to this? fame and fortune in this open world tactical RPG. War Tales. Take up various contracts from protecting townsfolk from thieves to vanquishing the land's most notorious figures. Uh -huh. Before battle, equip your mercenaries with the best gear and skills to claim victory and live to see another day. Up to four players online can jointly command a troop and journey together across this vast world. War Tales launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch later today. Run and gun okay. in this reimagining of the beloved NES oh, classic. Oh shit. Bro, I used to fucking love this game. Contra. All right. Blast through explosive All right, yeah. with a devastating Yeah, cuz you would you just run around and shoot everybody. Oh, this was awesome. Bring into action with easy pick up and play controls yeah. and a variety of difficulty options. Yeah, cuz you would just shoot it's everybody. Reimagining from Konami and way forward. Oh, yeah. Features new weapons. It was hard Enemies. as fuck. It was. Powerful super attacks and a four player co-op mode. Contra, lagging. Operation Galuga, lagging on, the, on the Nintendo Switch system early next year. Liberate your kingdom, reclaim That's your cool. destiny. I'm excited about that. Tis a grievous tale which speaks of Febreth, one of stolen destiny, stolen minds, and stolen nations. Yet as the world stands consumed by immense evil, a fallen Bro, I'm waiting on like this like crazy ass game to just be like turn based. Lighting his path. Wait, that oh my again. god. Ring of legend lighting his path. Jesus. That is the ring of the unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil. Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. Walk it, I will, mother. Freely traverse an expansive world. 
Gather new allies, forge your bonds, and lead the liberation to glorious victory. Cultivate a grand army with over 60 unique characters. Amazing. From humans and elves to massive beasts and heavenly angels. Today marks our first uh -huh. foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, months, or even years, but I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled. Atlas and Vanillaware present the rebirth of tactical fantasy RPGs. Unicorn Overlord. Available March 8th, 2024. Okay. I don't know why they can't just make a game like that that's action combat. If it was, I might actually try it out. Unicorn, wait, yeah, what was the name? I was distracted. Unicorn Overlord. All right. Shave sure. 24. I love how kids nowadays don't even know what this is. I was just thinking about this, like... How is a kid gonna understand, like, like they're not even gonna get this. Yeah, the TV static? Yeah. Like, they're like, what the fuck? Like, is this like a show or something? Like, yeah. It's Mansion 2 HD. So they're Welcome reselling the same Evershade game again. Valley. A place that's screaming and teeming with the supernatural. It's Luigi, marketed to 30-year-old kids. Our hero was sent here to check it yeah, out. Yeah, it's probably true. Time for some mansion mayhem. No spooky adventure is I complete still have my without Super this vacuum-like device. I don't know where the it is. The Gust. Oh, it's over down, it's down Use there. it to light up dark areas. From the Vacuum 90s. up objects. And interact with the environment. Uh oh wow! It's a handy tool for oh, your wow. paranormal escapades. Plus, when you spot a ghost, pop, suck the bitch you can up. Stun them with the strobe ball. Then oh yeah! Them up. You this can is even a, grab like multiple ghosts at This once. game was one of the ones that came out with the GameCube, and, and like I remember, I got it for Christmas, and I got In this, this game. game. You'll find ghosts haunting. I was like eleven. Former plant research lab. A broken down clock factory that's full of sand, a mine covered in ice and snow. This is 3DS. And even more well, no, places. I mean the original Luigi's Mansion. These yeah, obviously. This will use this every is trick in the too. book to block your path. Can Luigi summon his courage and save the day? Yeah, of course he can. He ain't no bitch. Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can oh do my some God. exercise across different multiplayer modes. So now instead of it just being green Mario, there's also blue Mario, purple Mario, and yellow Mario? Wow. Luigi's That's crazy. Mansion 2 HD creeps onto Nintendo Switch next summer. How was that? Next, we have two announcements to share. First, please take a look at this video. Okay, let's see it. Mario. What's that? It's a large question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. That's not in Texas, right? At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. It's in Japan? Construction is going well, and we plan to finish and up And that's not in March Texas, right? We'll share more information, such as the opening date, at another time. No, Please okay. Please stay tuned. Next, that's too bad. we'd like to share some updates on upcoming Amiibo figures. 
the Zelda and Ganondorf amiibo figures are released. I like how they just make Ganondorf just like an absolute ripped Giga Chad now. Just fucking like massive fucking badass. And I mean, like Link just looks like a bitch. Releasing on November third. Oh, it's as, yeah, to, a, no, like, to an extent, but like, the yeah, they, they go all out now. Will be released as a set on January nineteenth, twenty twenty four. And finally, we have a new amiibo figure to announce. Mm -hmm. The How DLC fighter from Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, is on the way. With the release of Sora, you know, I never played the Kingdom Hearts game. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate in amiibo form. Please I never look forward did. to its release next year. That's all for today's amiibo announcements. Next, please take a look at this. I only have one amiibo. I don't even know what they do. Yo! This is F Zero. This is the original one. I had this on Super Nintendo. Returns. What the fuck? Player Battle Royale. F Zero. Oh my god! No Race way! Up classic F Zero courses with machines from the original Super NES game. Bro, Tear I used to buy even my dad numbers this races, fucking game. But be careful. Dude, I went hard Your as fuck on this. will decrease if you crash into pilots or guardrails. If it hits zero, you're, you're out. dead. You'll need to avoid collisions and conserve your power meter to stay in the race. Oh my god. Feeling risky? Spend some of your power meter for a temporary speed boost. That's probably smart. You can also collect super sparks, which what? appear when machines collide, to boost up to a special path called the Skyway. It's your best chance at bypassing your rivals and jumping into a higher position. Damn. Complete goals while you're racing to unlock cosmetic options for your Bro, machine. I'm telling you guys, like, dude, F Zero absolutely fucking clears Forza. It absolutely clears like that other driving game. I don't even remember Gran Turismo. Bro, those games were so fucking boring. Like F Zero GX was the fucking racing game. It was so much better than everything else, and it wasn't even close. I don't know what happened, man. Like, this game used to be fucking insane. Yeah, I, I don't know what this was. It's like, think about all the microtransactions they could sell for this. And they're not doing it? 99 players, one winner. Bro, it's I should try to, to play this. your way to first place. Because F-099 will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch online members later today. Oh shit, I'll have to figure out how to plug this in. More than 30 years Damn. after its original release, Yo. F Zero is back as a battle royale game. Good, keep it that this way. This title also supports the Super NES controller available exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Oh my god, there it is. We hope you will give it a try. I used to hit my head with that thing a lot. I, I, I fucking, yeah, I really went in I, on those. And aim for first place. Okay, let's continue with some more headlines. One little hero. All right, I'm, I'm happy, bro. Like, problem. I am. I'm very happy about that. Welcome to Vandal City, a whimsical land inhabited by small fuzzy beings called Yordles. After a party gets a little too wild, the portals holding the land together collapse and throw everything into chaos. It's up to you and your knitting magic to stitch Vandal City back together. Journey across the I land. I can't think of Yordles anymore without like visualizing that Dante's Twitter clip of him dry humping a stuffed animal on his bed about it being a yordle. Like I, I, I actually cannot think about them outside of that. And to gather materials and craft items and meals for the locals. Oh God. As you continue gathering and crafting, you can weave so together new upgrades is. by unlocking more branches of the skill tree. Smart fucker. Enchant your experience even further by embarking on quests and hosting festivals for the community. Can you save Vandal City? And what mysteries will you discover during your magical adventure? 
Vandal Tale, a League of Legends story, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Wait, did you hear that? Join best friends, New New and Willem, on a journey across the frozen wilds of the Freljord. Jump, climb, okay. and sled your way through a beautiful yet treacherous land where every step taken and each puzzle solved will bring you closer to the truth about these friends and their past. It's okay. Song of Nunu, a League of Legends story, launches on the Nintendo yeah, Switch okay. system November 1st. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Let's move into formation. Play with these chumps doesn't feel like a prize. Ah. Welcome to the island. This tropical resort contains tons of micro games that'll get your body moving. Oh my In god. In each micro game, you'll get into a specific pose called a form. Copy the I am never going to do this, by the way. Like any video game that requires me to get up, I'm automatically out. Like I'm totally out. That's all it takes. Yep, I'm not getting up. A form shown, then perform the correct action as quick as you can. Hand model. The micro games will come one after another, so look alive. <laughs> Plus, up to four players can battle it out in party mode. Reach the goal without getting caught by Medusa. Freeze. Or settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. Oh my god. With over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer modes aplenty, everyone's in for a wacky time. WarioWare Move It launches on the Nintendo Switch system. That's so fucking ridiculous. That is, it's so fucking ridiculous. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> so Ludwig game? Yeah, I've never played a Wario. Actually, no, I think I played one WarioWare game. It was on like the Nintendo DS or Advance or something. Uh, like I always um I remember whenever they added Waluigi, I was so happy because I was like finally like I, I well, he was always my favorite. I felt like yeah, they like basically put me in the Mario universe. I really appreciated that. Yeah, it was on like a. I remember Mario Tennis, bro. Like, he was cracked in Mario Tennis. Because he got that reach, you know? Move back, love that. November 3rd. Pre orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. A heroic tale will soon unfold. Lead an army of over 100 heroes into battle and put an end to an empire's invasion. Meet Noah, a humble villager. Sane, an Is officer from an the arc? empire. And Marissa, a forest guardian. These three band together to fight for a common goal. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can join their That's cause. a shark. That's not a, that's not a, oh, this oh. is your home base, known as the headquarters. As allies join you, additional facilities will become available. You'll be able to tend crops, open shops, and more. That's cool. Each hero you encounter has their own backstory and motivation. They may not always get along at first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Trust. Betrayal justice and truth a heroic tale will begin when Auden Chronicle 100 Heroes launches on Nintendo Switch April 23rd eh. turn based participate usually not a big fan of that kind of stuff play. what's this next stop Octopia travel to a charming parallel world in this paid DLC for Eastward Help Sam and John turn the pages of a new chapter as they adjust to country life in a mountainside village. Tend to livestock, whip up culinary delights for your neighbors, and restore buildings to help the village thrive. And if you're new to Eastward, don't worry. 
You can access the DLC even if you haven't played the main story. Eastward Octopia ventures onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. No combat? Get back into the groove. In this sequel to War Groove, charge across three tactical campaigns with valiant factions, including a new mouse folk faction, the Fari. Plus, you can. There was a game that I used to play. It was called like Advanced Warfare or something like that. It, I remember it, this kind of reminds me of that. Yeah, on the Game Boy Advance. Now supercharge Fast your Force, commander's yeah, that game was to good. unleash devastating attacks. Lead a roguelike offensive in conquest mode. Battle friends locally. There's a Switch remaster. Online. There it is. Or create and share your own cutscenes and campaigns. War Groove 2 marches onto Nintendo Switch as a console remastered? exclusive oh, October 5th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Dive and catch fish by day. Then serve them as sushi by night in the aquatic adventure, Dave the Diver. Everybody says good stuff about this game. I have not heard, like, anything bad about this game. I remember uh, it was like Classic WoW came out or something like that. And like S fan played the patch for like a day, like an hour, and then he just went back to playing Dave the Diver, and then he was like messaging me, dude, Dave the Diver, so good, oh dude, it's so good, dude, you need to try out Dave the Diver, you you got to play this, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I look at it, I'm like, there's no way, right? But I mean, maybe I would have thought that about Vampire Survivors. Use the fish you've caught to concoct recipes and create the day's menu. Uh -huh. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. Explore an ever-changing underwater world to find the best ingredients that crawfish? and strive to exceed culinary expectations. Oh wow! Dave the Diver launches first for consoles on the Nintendo Switch system October 26th. Better than Starfield. Pre-orders well, and a free mean. demo swim onto Nintendo eShop I... later today. The final wave is racing in. Here's a sneak peek at Wave 6, the final wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. I kind of wish they would just do a game with, like, Mario, but it's, like, Doom. Where, like, Mario, instead of, like, it's like it starts off and it's like, you know, there's no more time for, like, mushrooms and, you know, special hats, and he just pulls out, like, a fucking machine gun, and he just starts, like, shooting down, like, Koopas and shit. Just absolutely fucking blowing them apart. <laughs> yeah, I call it Mario Apocalypse. The Mario Kart Wii game, Daisy Circuit. More returning characters are also yeah, being Super added. Super Mario in Apocalypse Six. from the Mario Kart Double Dash game, Diddy Kong. From Mario Kart Wii, Funky Kong. Oh my God. Is that from Mario 64? From the Mario Kart Tour game? Game? Oh yeah, no Pauline. doubt. And also, Peachette. Peachette, isn't that just Peach? Yeah, I feel Wave like... Wave 6 of the Mario Kart yeah, 8 Deluxe Peach? Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game... Peach, but underage. ...on to Nintendo Switch this right. holiday. Active Nintendo Naturally. Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased no, on its own. That. I'm pretty sure that's not canon. Something new is among us. Do people still play this? Oh my god.
Wow. I never got this in. This new map for Among oh, Us sure. is this free is and launches this October. I never got into Among Us, man. I just never could, uh... I never found it interesting at all. What did you think? Thanks for sticking with us this far. It's because I had to talk to people. Next up, There's no, we'd like, like to recap some of the previously announced Nintendo titles you can look forward yeah, to playing Yeah, it's a people game? September yeah, that's why I didn't like it. Let's take a look. Yeah. This was fucking cool. The fuck is that? Pikmin 1 and 2? Wait, 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 hold up. Pikmin 1 and 2, and that's available in, like, damn. That's just in, like, a week. Oh, I saw this before. No Switch 2? Oh, they're going to announce one, I think, kind of soon. The Switch 2 will almost be as powerful of a, as a PlayStation 3. Pretty exciting. We hope you're looking forward to these upcoming titles. This next video will be our last announcement. All right, let's Please see. Please take it. a look. Paper fucking Mario! Holy shit! Dude, I love this game! I remember I tried to get my mom to buy it. It took a while, but it worked. Because I remember I thought it was like a Super Mario RPG. Yeah! Pick Mario 1's already available? Really? What the fuck? You know what that reminds me of? Um... This reminds me of, like, so if if platform games were popular now as, like, phone games, this would be somebody who bought the, uh, like, the $200, like, value pack package. Like, this would be, like, a whale. <laughs> yeah, pay to win. I've said this before, but I don't think Princess Peach is getting captured. I think she's going back to Bowser. I think it's obvious, right? I mean, Bowser is a fucking pimp, man. He has, like, all these cool cars. He's got all these people that are basically just, like, fucking servants to him. He's got all these, he's got, like, fucking bling. He's got a fucking necklace. He's got, like, a, a, like a nice-ass watch with, like, spikes on it and shit. He's got a fucking flying castle. Bro, yeah, you know she's not going to be staying around with Mario, bro. Like, this, yeah, he's the top G. Exactly. Exactly, man. Yeah, multiple castles. Come on. I don't remember 
some of these characters. Yeah, this is, I think, the second game that came out originally. Yeah, and he's way taller than Mario. Yeah, true. Wow, she's falling in love with an AI. Nintendo really did predict the future. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, originally released on Nintendo GameCube, will return with enhanced graphics. I think I still have that too. Whether you played the original or have yet yeah. to play it, we hope you'll look forward to experiencing this adventure in a paper world starring Mario and friends. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. I feel like, um, like this was good. It was, it was good. I, I, I hope that soon Nintendo does something besides releasing old games again to get me excited. I think that the games out of this that I actually kind of want to play, this Mario versus Donkey Kong game, I actually think is kind of cool. Prince of Persia looks really cool. Super Mario RPG, this is like a 100%. Like, I'm going to play this. Princess Peach game, eh. You know, part of it looked good, part of it didn't. There was like one other one. Oh yeah, the F-099. Yeah, that was really, really cool. And then there was Contra. I forgot where Contra was, but wherever it was, I definitely would want to play that too. Oh yeah, yeah, right here. Yeah, this was fucking badass. Do you have a Switch? Yeah, yeah, I got a Switch. And uh, let's see. I would say those are the ones that I really wanted to try out. And yeah, people were very positive about me playing Dave the Diver. Maybe I'll have to try that. But yeah. Uh, a lot of these games, a hundred fucking percent. Like, uh, yeah, I'll probably try them out. For sure! I'm, I'm gonna play it really soon. It's, it's gonna happen, uh, right after, um, Genshin and Final Fantasy XIV.